we're facing situations where there are organisms out there which are resistant to essentially every antibiotic. Uh, one of the nightmare bacteria is something we call CRE. It's not yet very common in the U.S., but where it is common, it's resistant to all antibiotics except one. And that one is called colistin, which is a very old antibiotic that we don't use much. And the patient that was described by the uh, Walter Reed authorities yesterday uh, is described as having a colistin-resistant uh, plasmid that spreads resistance. So this is really the, the last antibiotic in our arsenal. We haven't yet seen it combined with the other dangerous antibiotics, but they are uh, antibiotic resistance. But the bottom line is we're seeing a steady increase in drug resistance. We need to use antibiotics better. We need to find resistance strains faster, stop their spread, and develop new ways to prevent this type of infection. Yeah, I mean, the WHO and you, of course, saying this is one of the biggest threats to, to global health. This is one of the biggest infectious disease threats we face, and we can all play a role. If you're sick, don't necessarily demand antibiotics. It might not be the best thing for you. They have risks as well as benefits. If you do get antibiotics, take them for the full course as prescribed. And if you're prescribed antibiotics, ask, do I really need this? And do I need an antibiotic that is this wide spectrum? We are investigating. CDC uh, has disease investigators working with uh, the authorities there to try to figure out where it came from, track it down through molecular testing as well as old-fashioned what we call shoe leather epidemiology, talking to people, understanding, getting more cultures and figuring out where it might have come from. But all of this is quite new. It was just a few months ago that the first ever colistin-resistant plasmid was identified in China. So in just a few months, these have been identified in places all around the world, and it emphasizes how important it is that we become better stewards of the antibiotics we have. These are miracle drugs, and unless we take care of them well, we may not have them when we need them or when our kids need them.